this is Heritage Park. It is in Westerville. It's a small little wetland. They have some, also have uh, a pavilion for picnicking and uh, some things for kids to play around on. But it has a nice little wetland here. It's in Westerville. I can't think of the side street that it's on, but it comes off near the fire department there on Main Street in Westerville. Um, I just can't think of the name of the street. But the little wetland is to my right and Alum Creek is straight ahead. I do have some summer pictures of this little wetland area and of this small trail here and I will put the link to that in the description box below if you'd like to see what this looks like in the summer. But I don't know how many of you know that Westerville actually has quite a few wetland areas. Um, this one here of course is Heritage Park. Uh, we, there's also Heritage Wetlands. You got Boyer Nature Preserve, you got Highland Park, and you got Mariner's Cove in Wetland. I will put the link to them also in the description box below. I'm actually walking on solid ground here. I'm just going by remembering how this was last year. The water is just right up in front of me and I will stop at the edge. This is all a wetland right here. It looks beautiful. And it probably goes, um, I'd say maybe a couple hundred feet still to the right of where I'm at now. I am now at Boyer Nature Preserve, which is a Park Avenue up in Westerville. This is really a very beautiful spot. I will post a link to this down in the description box if you would like to see this place in the summer, as I have a video and some pictures of it from the summer. It's a good sized little marsh and it has a trail that goes around the the water. I'm guessing maybe about a half a mile all the way around. It's not real big. A lot of wildlife in here. A lot of frogs, deer, mink. And over to my left, we're not going to go through there today, but over to my left are some vernal pools. Maybe we'll come back in the spring and check them out. definitely beautiful. Like I said, if you've never been here, you definitely got to come here.
There is a small parking area out front where you can park your car. I don't know if you can see him on a larger tree right there, but a red-headed woodpecker. He's back in the woods a little bit, so I zoomed in as close as I can get. He's just tapping away. Now I was told that this here is actually a natural wetland. It, is not, it was not built um, by anybody or created. This wetland here is actually natural. Of course you can see some houses around there. It is, like I say, this, this is in the city of Westerville. be so cool to have this in your backyard just come out and, and enjoy nature relax I don't know if you can see the little bird there pecking at the ice. Not sure what he's trying to do if he's getting insects that are within the ice or what he's trying to get.
but as you can see even at 12 15 degrees in the middle of winter even this little nature preserve right here is flourishing with wildlife active wildlife and in the summer there's even more rabbit mink I don't know if there's any muskrat out here I would imagine that there probably is I've yet to see any signs of beaver Even the animals are using the trees to get across the water. It's really cool. This tree here is a really good size. First time I was here, that tree caught my attention. It's actually hollow in the bottom. We're going to take you around to the other side and I'll show you. Now, there, I would imagine there could probably be stuff living in here. But I don't think anything is living down here or using it recently and the reason I do not believe so is there are no tracks in the snow of anything going in or out. Now I did look in there and it looks just pretty empty. But that does not mean there's not something living further up into the tree.
So if you're ever up here in Westerville, make sure to stop and check out Boy Nature Preserves or some of their other little wetland areas they have here in Westerville area. Or uh, just make a special point to come up here to look at them. Because you will find, uh, you could spend the day looking at all of them if you travel around the city looking at each of the wetlands. <laughs> 